What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you on how to make procedural meshes in Unreal Engine 5. We're going to be using the Geometry Script plugin, this is going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. But first, check out the link in the description to get our some Unreal Engine courses on WinFox. Alright, so the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and go to edit and enable our plugins. Now we just need to uh, search for Geometry Script and you will go ahead and find it over here. So go ahead and tick it. Now a warning will say that it's an experimental, but it will be okay. So just press okay. And then you need to restart the editor. Another pop-up will appear down. All right, so now that you have the uh, plugin enabled, we can go ahead and create our blueprint. Let's go ahead into the content browser, right click and go into blueprint class. And now we're gonna search through all the classes. It's gonna be a dynamic, uh, during the dynamic mesh actor. So this is be this is gonna be our procedural mesh, okay? So let's go ahead and select it. You can name it whatever you like. Sample B B underscore uh, procedural mesh. All right, and now we can go ahead and open this guy up. I'm gonna put it over here. So we don't have to do anything at all in the viewport. We can just go directly into the thing graph. We can delete everything, and we need to add a special node over here. It's gonna be an event on rebuild generated mesh. So this is like if it was the construction script. In here, we can go ahead and edit the, the blueprint directly from the viewport um, without actually needing to, put it, to press play, okay? So this is like a construction graph uh, script, but well, directly into the bank graph, okay? Uh, so now what we need to do is call this very handy node, which is append box. Now, there's a lot, sorry, double P. Uh, so we have a lot of different uh, types of uh, you know shapes over here. You can see we have primitives, which is uh, box, capsule, column, you know, etc., etc. Now today we're going to be using box because it's the most yeah, the, the most simple one. But you can also use your own custom mesh, etc. Uh, so yeah, you can go ahead and choose. A pen is pretty much more like create box. Okay? It's creating a new mesh. All right. So if I go and press compile and go back and drag it, you will see that we have a box over here. So we're already having our mesh over here. Now it will be controlled with this uh, parameters over here. We have the dimensions and etc. So I think that we can just go ahead and right click and promote all of this into a variable. All right, promote X, Y, Z, there we go. And now we can go ahead and click this I icon in all the variables. Now they will be exposed, basically publicly available. So now we can go ahead and go back into our map and then we select, we can see that we have the exposed variables over here. And now we can basically change the values over here, as you can see. So this is a really, really good cool start making your procedural mesh. Now, there's an even better thing I'm gonna uh, show you, which is gonna be able to drag from one corner um, into the, to the map and it will be automatically changing the scale for you, okay? So let's go back into here and what we can do is go ahead and delete all these variables. We don't need them anymore. And when I create a new variable, it's gonna be basically our uh, corner, okay? So uh, it's gonna be a type of a vector because we want to drag it in all axes and we just want to go ahead and drag it. So we're gonna get it and then right click and sorry, on the uh, right click on this point over here in the output and then split it. So now we have uh, individually the axis. So what we want to do is multiply the first two axes so it's a bit bigger. Uh, it's be just easier to, to drag, you know, if it's a bit uh, bigger. So we want to multiply the x by, uh, axis by two, the same with the y, and in the z, we can directly plug it together. So go ahead and plug everything. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this down, and drag this down so it's a bit more organized. And then we want to select our corner, again, expose it, but we will need to do one more thing in, uh, to be able to drag it from uh, the, um, the viewport. We have to go ahead and um, click show 3D widget. Let's go ahead and compile and save. And now if we go back, you will see that we have a, a like a gizmo, like a shape over here. So if we select this gizmo and move it and go it up, you will see that we start to get a shape. Now you see that things are going weird over here. This is just because it's inverted. So you just go ahead and there we go. And there we go. So yeah, you just have to be careful if you are in the opposite direction. Do not matter. But now it's much easier to go ahead and create your, your procedural meshes. You can just go ahead, drag over here, you know, and put this there. I think that I also have the uh, Z axis uh, inverted. I don't know. I think I have the black thing over here. But you can experiment with that. Anyway, another thing you can do is, you know, go ahead and set some default values as 100, 100, and uh, 200. 
so it's even you know um so now we can just compile delete this one and drag it again now there we go we have it by default okay so yeah it's just um how you want to do it but in my case i think that having this gizmo to just drag around is much easier you can see we can create uh, our meshes really really easily with this you know like i mean come on guys it is so 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 easy to do things like that and of course you can do it with any shape at all i can go over here instead of appending a box i could go and you know append a capsule for example right and plug this in over here and then oh you will see that we have our capsule over here um yeah i had two of them I can just delete this one okay and of course you would change the oh i closed the script let me open again sorry about that you're gonna change the you know the radius into 100 now it will be uh, fatter <laughs> you know what i mean so there's a lot of values you can change now the cool thing are um your own mesh so you go here you can go into append and then you see mesh and then you can select whatever mesh you want um so you know of course i'm not going to show you in this case over here um but of course uh you can use these simple uh, primitives as a box a capsule etc but the cool thing i guess is when you start using your own uh, custom meshes to create your game all right guys so um if you found my so useful i would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine fight throws so if you want to check it out go ahead we are so so close of reaching 10k subscribers literally we are 9700 subscribers we're just 300 subscribers away from 10k which is amazing guys thank you all for your amazing support and we'll continue to make awesome tutorials videos etc and now yes with all i said bye bye